Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following and what is the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter F out of the bunch. So in this case, we just have to figure out what's the conjugate acid and conjugate base of H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you can find a conjugate acid and a conjugate base from a single molecule, that means that this molecule can act as both an acid or a base, depending on what situation it's in. Those types of species are called amphoteric, but we'll get more into that later. All we have to do for this one is just know what the conjugate acid and conjugate base is. So let's work on this side first, and we're going to follow these rules to find the conjugate base first. So I have H2O2, right? And let's see. If I'm uh, turning an acid into its conjugate base, and just know that conjugate just means corresponding. A conjugate, whether it's an acid or a base, is always going to be on the product side. It's what you make from a certain acid or a base. Now, a base, a conjugate base, is always going to be one hydrogen less than its acid. So you're always going to lose one hydrogen. So in this case, my hydrogen peroxide, I have two hydrogens. So kick one of them out, right? Goodbye. One goes. So now I'm just left with one hydrogen, but the rest stays. So now it's HO2. Now when you do that, you just have to correct the charge. You just have to subtract one from the total charge. Now, with, when it was H2O2, there was no charge in the upper right-hand corner. That meant that it was zero. So when I come over here, I say, okay, I had zero. Now I'm minusing one. So zero minus one is a negative one. Or you could just write it as a negative. And this would be the conjugate base. Pretty simple enough. Let's do the same thing if hydrogen peroxide was acting as the base, and now we have to find the conjugate acid. So... H2O2. Remember, the acid always has one more hydrogen. So you're going to gain one hydrogen. So if you had two, and now you're turning it into the conjugate acid, you got to bump this number up one. So instead of H2O2, it would be H3. And then everything else comes along for the ride, so O2. And now we just have to correct for the charge. But remember, there was nothing here, zero. And if you're turning it into an acid, you plus one to the charge. So it's the opposite of what was done on the other side. So zero plus one is just a plus one. So you could say just plus, or you could say plus one, doesn't matter. And that is the conjugate acid. I'll just say con acid for short. That's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I will all talk, I'll talk to you all in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.